Namaste everyone! So today we are going to talk about upcoming full moon in Bhadrapada Nakshatras. Why Bhadrapada Nakshatras? Because the beginning of this full moon is going to happen in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, while the end of this full moon is going to happen in Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra. This is why this entire month is actually called Bhadrapada month. And these two nakshatras, Purva Bhadrapada and Uttara Bhadrapada, are actually quite special. If you have read, by any chance, my ebook Discovering Universe, when I'm talking a little bit more about how specific nakshatras are connected to chakras in our energy body, you might remember that Purva Bhadrapada and Uttara Bhadrapada are strongly connected with our root chakra. You see, this is why Purva Bhadrapada and Uttara Bhadrapada are governed by two rudras, two snake gods, because it represents also the Kundalini Shakti the power to arise spiritually. Literally, the power of Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra is Yajamana Uddhyamana Shakti, the power to uplift spiritually the person on spiritual path. And even though, you know, spiritually, this is actually such an auspicious full moon, but just, you know, from physical perspective, it's going to be quite fiery. And fiery, why? Because first of all, Rudras are very fiery, very short-tempered gods, you see. Actually, one day before full moon is celebrated in India as Ananta Chaturdashi. Ananta, once again, is the name of, you know, this giant snake on which Lord Vishnu is lying. And he's actually also said to be a manifestation of Rudra. And he's also said to be quite short-tempered. This is why this specific Chaturdashi, so one day before full moon, actually can be quite tensed emotionally. Additionally, besides that, something else is going to happen simultaneously to this full moon. And that is Mars, who is going to approach the eclipse point. The point in which last total lunar eclipse happened. And you know, whenever a planet is approaching this eclipse point, this planet is once again triggering the energy of that eclipse. And specifically that eclipse, this total lunar eclipse, uh, recent one, was actually, you know, not so auspicious one. Because this sort of eclipse actually formed Vinashika Yoga. The yoga of destruction, the yoga of transforming something very intensely. So when Mars will be passing the, through this point once again, and he'll be, you know, also very tightly conjunct with Ketu, we can experience, first of all, you know, deep within ourselves, a little bit of tension, nervousness, impulsiveness, which is why specifically in this time period, it is so important for all of us, you know, to really try and exercise consciously our patience, which means try not to act impulsively, try not to take any impulsive decision. And if you really need to write some very important email or, you know, Take your effort and read it two times, read it three times, read it four times, but just re-evaluate. Is that situation really requiring so much of emotion? Or maybe it's better to handle it more peacefully. Maybe there's a more peaceful way to deal with that. Because you see, all of us are going to be a little bit more impatient and impulsive at the moment. And every single person is going to trigger one another person. So we also need to actually consciously exercise our patience not also our patience towards life situations, but even our patience, you know, towards impatience of other people, in fact. That is going to be a very important thing. And also the angle in which this exact full moon is going to happen is actually a little bit of challenging. Why challenging? Because first of all, Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra is becoming Kantaka Nakshatra for this moment. What Kantaka Nakshatra means? It's actually one quite, you know, disturbing, quite transformative Nakshatra, which is computed from the distance between the Sun and Mula Nakshatra, and this distance added once again from Mula. So this lands exactly in Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra. And this is, you know, actually additionally going to agitate us emotionally. The more we are going to approach this full moon, the more nervous, impatient and impulsive we may feel the more uneasy inside we may feel. Additionally, also if you look at it from another perspective, from Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, 25th Nakshatra from Purva Bhadrapada, which is Manasa Nakshatra, or the star of, let's say, peace of mind of this present moment, there is going to dwell Mars. 
If you count 25th star, on the other hand, from Uttarabhadrapada nakshatra, Ketu is going to dwell there. So you see, our peace of mind will be quite agitated during this time period. In fact, if you live close to nature, like we are shooting this video here in the forest, you will notice that even animals actually become more agitated during this time period. And what can we do, you know, to consciously kind of harness this energy? First of all, like I said, try not to react impulsively. And if you need to take some decision, think about it firstly, okay? Reevaluate. Does it really require so much of emotion? Does it really require so much of speed? Or maybe it's better to cool yourself down consciously. Also meditate during this time period because you see this energy is actually the best harnessed when you meditate. Because meditation is grounding you. Also being, you know, surrounded by nature is greatly helpful, especially being close to the water. Because you see when there are so many these intensely fiery influences, we just need to add a little bit of water elements to cool ourselves down. Which is why it's a great thing, you know, to also drink enough of water. And especially if you feel that you are getting a little bit more anxious, a little bit more angry or even fearful. Because in fact, this full moon can also bring some of our very, you know, hidden fears on the surface. You might in fact, you know, suddenly find yourself worried about your survival, worried about your job, finances, even if there is completely no reason to worry about that. Because first chakra, root chakra is strongly connected, you know, with these instincts these most primordial instincts, which in fact, you know, the fears that come from that don't always come from reality. They sometimes, you know, come just from our worries, just from the very, you know, lowest instincts of survival. And whenever you feel anything like that, you know, my Guru Dev said so beautifully that the best thing to do is to just drink a cold glass of water because it will cool you down immediately. So generally, you know, three best advices I could give you for upcoming full moon is first of all do not take any impulsive decisions second thing try to meditate meditate more than usually you know because even just a little bit of meditation can bring, bring you great peace of mind and third thing keep your body well hydrated drink a lot you know and especially when you feel that there's too much of this inner fire too much of intensity within you then drink actually cold water just to Cool your body down. So that is just a little bit from me on upcoming full moon in Purva Bhadrapada and Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra and I wish you a beautiful full moon. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.